ever since, maybe long before Obama became uh, the President of the United States, there have been evangelicals that we have been questioning whether or not they believe in the Bible. We finally got our answer from a former member of the Southern Baptist uh, <laughs> Convention. And what has happened is that people, are, evangelicals and pastors, are saying that Jesus Christ is too liberal and too weak. Okay. Too liberal and too weak. How can you even say that? And you're, t and you're following Christ, Jesus Christ. And you're a Christian. If you say that. That you can't follow Jesus Christ because he's too liberal. Then you're not, an even, you're not a Christian. You're not an evangelical. You're, some, you're considered a politician who thinks, oh, I can say this because I want to say what I want. I mean, freedom of speech aside. But that's not what Christianity is. If you say that and you're a pastor, you should you should be defrocked at that moment. So, here's the thing. Former uh, Southern Baptist Convention, Russell Moore, talked about this um, in an interview with NPR, in which he said, <laughs> she said, uh, multiple pastors have told him um, they would quote the Sermon on the Mount, specifically the part that this says to turn the other cheek. Someone will come up and to the service at the service and ask, "Where'd you get those liberal talking points?" And what he says, and more continues, what was alarming to me is that in most of the scenarios, when the pastor would say, "I'm literally quoting Jesus Christ," the response would not be, "I apologize." The response would be, "Yes, but that doesn't work anymore. That's weak." When we get to the point where the teaching of Jesus Christ himself well, are seen as subversive, then we're in a crisis. That's huge. And for you, for these people to say, oh, I'm, I follow the Bible. You don't. You don't follow the Bible at all. Alright? You say, oh, but I have quotes on here. You have quotes, but that only take part of that, part of the whole, uh, of that whole, uh, column, or the whole stanza. As a former Catholic myself, it's kind of debilitating to see, this is a, if you're giving me another reason why I need to step, why I step away from religion, you got this. You got people who are saying, I don't believe in Jesus Christ. I'm a Christian, but this is not going to work for me. And to say that Jesus Christ is too liberal? Jesus Christ, and I'm sorry for being blasphemous, but again, Jesus Christ, son of a carpenter and carpenter himself, wanted equality. Feed the hunger. Clothe the naked. Shelter the homeless. Those kind of things are what Jesus Christ preaches on. And to say, oh, that's too liberal for us. What were you thinking? Like, you didn't even think that Jesus Christ would do this? What Jesus Christ did was express love. That's Christianity right there. It's expressing love. Love thy neighbor, you know. Instead, there are people going like, he's speaking Spanish, he needs to leave the country. That's the kind of talking point we're seeing today. I mean, these extend to just pastors, uh, evangelicals, televangelists. I know we lost Pat Robertson about a couple months ago. Uh... But, you have people who are going after a false god. 
and this false god, this uh, golden calf that was described in the Ten Commandments, that golden calf right now is Donald Trump. And that's who, uh, that's who these uh, Christians are going after. Now, I'm not saying all Christians, but these Christians have gone from the wayside of the Holy Bible. Now they say, well, I mean, here are the quotes. Are they in, are they not in the Bible? <clears throat> to which a lot of people would say, did you even read the Bible? Did you even read the stanza that was on? That'd be like me pointing out, did you eat, did you read Numbers 5 through 11? Which talks about abortion. Yes, abortion is in the Bible. And you also have <laughs> you also have Republicans who claim they are religious, but yet they're doing anti-religious things, even though they say they are religious. Tell me how that makes sense. Instead, we have people who are saying, "I do not believe in Jesus Christ, but I am a Christian." Your hypocrisy is showing, and that's not going to fly. And if you wonder why Christianity is in a crisis, it's people like these. I go like, Jesus Christ is too liberal. You should have done your history on that one.